How's it going everybody? Today we're going to take apart that and put that in it. This thing I built to make it look like an urban supercharger. This is actually really cool. I love this thing. And I just have the regular cord. And then you open up the door and you can see I have a bunch, bunch of mother's cleaning supplies in there. And then there's a power outlet there. Not enough to really do the car. I have a NEMA 1450 outlet there, which runs all along the base over to my panel that's right over that way to a 50 amp breaker. So I'm actually gonna replace that breaker with a 60 amp breaker so I can get 48 amps to the car. In the process, I have to take apart this whole thing or take this off, remove this shelf, mount the new charger right in the center and then route the wire around. And when you close the door, it's still gonna look the same, but when you open the door, it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> this is the one that's signed by Elon. Not really signed, but uh, we won this from referrals. Thank you very much, everyone. But what you get is you get um, this bracket, which I'm not gonna use. This is if you're gonna be mounting it outside or you need, uh, need it spaced off the wall a little bit. I'm not actually gonna be using this. You get the manual. This is the bracket I'm gonna be using. This is attaches to it. Uh, what's really nice is now they actually have templates in the beginning. They didn't send a template, so you had to kind of guess where things were, or line this up and all that stuff, figuring out where these holes are actually at. Unfortunately, I'm not using these holes either. Coming right up from the bottom because the cord comes in that way. Uh, you get all the hardware, you get plugs, and then this is my 60 amp breaker that I'm gonna throw in the panel. Now, as a disclaimer, I am not an electrician. I'm a woodworker. If you don't feel comfortable with electricity, do not do this yourself. This is not a DIY project if you are not familiar with electricity. So, I am not responsible for anything, anything stupid that you do. I'm only responsible for the stupid things I do. I'm fairly comfortable with it. I actually hooked all that up myself. Uh, my neighbor actually, his father was an electrical engineer. He actually helped me a little bit, explained everything to me. I pretty much knew it all. I'm a know-it-all. Don't do as I do. Do as, I, I'm showing you how to do it, but don't do as I do. This should be, actually be easier than what that was to do because uh, there's four wires coming in to that and we only need three. This doesn't take a common wire, so uh, I'm just gonna actually cap that and uh, tuck that away in there. When it's all done, the 60 amp breaker should actually give me 48 amps, which will be a little bit more than what we have now. So this is everything that you get in the box and you'll need a few more things. Just a couple things and stay hydrated. Although uh, water and electricity don't usually mix. Now, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clean this out. So now that everything's out, I'm gonna unplug. This can actually go back in the car for when we go traveling. And also in the Model 3, because this actually puts out a little bit more power. This is the first generation, not the second generation that the Model 3 has. And we'll take the door off. Must have bought this at Staples, because that was easy. One screw held this thing to the wall, which is pretty cool. Now that you can see the back of it, it's all plywood. These three screws are holding that top shelf. I'm gonna try to leave that in there so I can help loop the cord around to keep it off of the unit itself. Uh, I may actually put something on the bottom as well to, to do something with that. But these four screws hold in this shelf. All right, and I'm gonna set this aside for right now. And this is the electrical line coming up, does a 90 degree angle and goes right into this. Before you do any electrical work, turn off the breaker and then test that again. Once again, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. You should be 100% comfortable doing this. I'm not talking about climate comfortable, like air conditioning. I'm talking about electrocuting yourself and killing yourself because 220 power can't really kill you. I mean, it can, but it's not, it's going to make you have a bad day. Just put it that way. So we're gonna turn the power off. And right in here at the bottom of the panel is that 50 amp breaker for over there. And once again, test to make sure there's no electricity there. There's no light popping up. And a good way to test this, because we didn't test it ahead of time, I'm gonna turn the breaker back on and then we're gonna see that there was, there's power going to it. Although we saw there was power going to it because my the charger was plugged in, the green light was on, but we're gonna double check to make sure. So I just turned the breaker on over there and you see the red light popped on. Red light popped on. Um, so now we know that is the actual breaker. It's always better to double check than to ruin your day. So I just turned that off and we're testing again and no light comes on. We're ready to take this apart. 
Luckily, I was smart enough not to glue that joint, so it should come out really easily. So once again, to recap, read the directions first before you do anything. It is not this whole thing, it's just the red is the English portion of this. But read through this, understand what you're doing, understand what you're using too, because I'm not using this. Uh, what in the hell are you doing here? This is ridiculous. You're gonna electrocute like yourself. No, I'm not, dude. I've been, I, I would not be doing this. You didn't help me with that. Why don't you hire time? somebody? Sure, you got two Teslas. You got money. Hire somebody. I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Are you gonna help? I'm not helping you. I'm not touching this stuff. That stuff's gonna kill you. I'm not going to the hospital. I, there's, I'm not. I know. I, I think I know what I'm doing. We're good. I'll help I'm, you drive I'm to the hospital. Okay. Why are we wearing the same shorts? What do you mean? We're twins. Yeah, I guess we do. We always dress alike. Anyway, let me get back to this, okay? If you're not gonna help, you can leave. All right. I want no part of this. Whatever. Have fun. Don't call me. Again, can't get good help anymore. All right. First thing, you gotta take this cover off, and we're gonna test it again. Kidding. Don't do that. Do this. You wanna touch these? You wanna touch the leads? You want to touch everything. Make sure this light doesn't come on. It's important to know what those are. Red is going to be 110. Black is going to be 110. Those are your two hot lines, which give you 220. The white wire we're actually not using. Uh, and then the ground wire is the bare wire, as always. Again, I'm not an electrician, but th that's basic information. I'm going to take apart this, take the wires off, and remove everything. Rather than measuring, let's just use it. I kind of like it up higher than lower, because then I could also still put some stuff on that bottom shelf if I have it up higher. Maybe 10 inches down from the shelf. What do you guys think? Oh wait, you guys can't tell me anything right now. You can leave it in the comments, but by the time you see this, this is already being installed, so your, your comment is kind of pointless on that anyway. Puts it 45 and a quarter from the ground, and that's where the bracket goes. We, that is 40, that'll be good. We'll put this 40, 40 inches from the floor. So the next major piece in the puzzle is, as you see, I had to cut out a little section here for the wire because it was, that wire was over here. We shifted this over. So now I gotta find center for this. Uh, I'm actually gonna cut this hole down there, mount this in place, then I can find center exactly. We already know what, what height we want. We'll find center exactly inside this. Uh, and then we can feed the wire up into it, wire it up, and put the door back on, and then we're done. Then change out the breaker, and then we're done. Can you tell it's hot today? 11 o'clock in the morning, and I'm sweating like crazy already. <sighs> My brother was smart not to help. This is ridiculous. It's really hot. Now that that's in place, that's centered, and then we can take this off. This is the two positives. You're going to have black and red here, and this is the ground wire. So we're gonna come in from the bottom. I can plug those if I want to. Uh, I probably will. There's two holes back here. I'll plug those, but then we're gonna come in from the bottom and then red, black, or black and red. That was the same thing, actually. Put the ground wire right into here. We're gonna tie up the common wire, which is pretty much a ground. We're gonna hang this to see where that piece is gonna go and we kind of get a glimpse of what it's gonna look like. Now that looks really cool. Just fit one of the screws into place here. Sure would be a lot easier if someone helped me. Hey, Brian. Negative Brian. What's up, man? You called? You need some help? Never mind. Dude, that does look good. Oh, wow, I get it now, and now you show up. I'm not happy. I'm surprised you haven't electrocuted yourself yet. I'm not gonna electrocute myself, dude. All right, let's get out of here. I told you I'm not helping. Let's mount this thing up with the, uh, the tip and the condom here for your protection. This is gonna be the hard part, trying to feed this through and not get it caught on anything like we just did. It's going a little bit. All right, now we're through. All right, push back on it. Tighten that side up so it's tight on the wall. Trim the wire because we don't need this much. This is six gauge wire, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. And that's what you need for up to 60 amps. 60 amps is, is the max for this wire, six gauge. I got this wire on Amazon. It was actually pretty cheap. I'll try to find it and put a link to what I bought. It was a lot cheaper than going to Lowe's and Home Depot. So this is where it gets hard. 
Uh, I'm trying to get these thick, thick wires into place. And we're going to do the ground first, since it's way in the back here. And we get one out of the way. Test that. That's not coming out. All right, one down, two to go. All right. Put a cap on that white one. We're going to bend that out of the way a little bit. Bend that up in there. Jam it up in the hole. Make sure nothing's touching. We got a hot wire, a hot wire, the neutral wire, which we're not using, and then the ground wire back there. This will actually go to the panel that fits over top of this. Taking a break, stretching my legs a little bit, but I changed my thinking on the breaker. I was gonna put a 60 amp breaker over there because I have a 50 amp now, but my wife charges every day. I think slowly putting power into that battery over nighttime is going to be better than charging it on a, at a higher amperage every single night. Uh, you know, right now she plugs it in when she gets home and by the time we go to bed, usually it's full to what we have it set at. If I put a 60 amp breaker up here, it's gonna be, it's gonna get fa full faster. Not really necessary. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep the 50 up here in my shop down there. I'm gonna put the 60 amp breaker cause I have, a, I have a 100 amp panel down there in the garage. So let's switch this to a 50 amp breaker, turn that dial to what it needs to be for 50 amps. We'll plug that in, flip the breaker and see See if it works, see if it blows up. So right on there it tells you, but also in the book it tells you, let's see, circuit breaker. I have a 50 amp circuit breaker. So it's going to be 40 amps in the car. So we have to put this to number eight. So we get a little screwdriver and turn it to eight. And that's really hard to see. Weird thing is it's not, there's no indentations. It's just you, you turn it to that spot and hope for the best. This pin goes on this. It can only go one way. It doesn't click into place. It's, uh, it's in there. For right now, I'm just gonna put two screws in. We'll put one at the top and one at the bottom. And what we wanna see is this light up. I'm gonna run over, flip the breaker, and you should see this light up. Oh, crap, oh, crap, 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 crap. Hey, it's green. Looked like it wasn't gonna work at first, but this is actually sitting up here. Once we plug it into the car, this will start trailing down. So it looks like it's working. Uh, I'm not gonna plug it into my car yet. I'm gonna wait for my wife to come home uh, and then I'll plug it into her car. I don't wanna plug it into mine because I'm actually doing a test. Uh, I'm actually, I charged my car to 240 miles the other day or 244 miles and I'm doing a real world driving around town test. I don't really go on the highway much, but I drive around town picking up my kids from school, taking them to school, going to the grocery store, all the errands around the house, going to the post office, things like that. I drive everywhere around town uh, and I'm not very easy on the car. I do take off kind of fast because you can and these things, it's, it's fun to take off fast. So I'm doing a real world test. I've got 70 miles that I put on the car so far. Finish that video tomorrow. So I don't wanna plug it in right now and ruin that video. So we're gonna wait to plug this in, but I'm gonna button everything up and clean it all up. Let me know what you think of this. This thing is the same cabinet, of course, but uh, let me know what you think of the way this looks now. I got, I got room for some mother's products on the bottom shelf there. I think it looks cool. I think it looks really nice. Thanks for watching this uh, install, non-professional install. Again, disclaimer, I'm not an electrician and nor do I play one on TV. If you're watching this on the TV, I guess I do play one on TV. If you're uncomfortable doing this, do not do it. Hire an electrician or a friend that knows how to do this. Uh, give them a beer uh, after they're done because you don't want them drinking and playing around with electricity. Wife's home, got the Model S here. We're gonna grab the cord, plug it in, and see if it works. Hopefully it works, it, it should work. There's no reason why it wouldn't work, unless I did it wrong. Just grab the cord, hit the button, jam it in. And it's green. That means it's charging. Which also means the green light's moving. Success, the charger is in, it's working, no problem. Thanks for watching. If you're on the market for a Model S or a Model 3, P3D, or a Model X, use our referral code, it helps out tremendously. Just wanna thank you guys for sticking through this long video. It was pretty long, it was very hot, didn't get any help from my brother, but it was a great day. It was an awesome day.
and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you on the next one.